Hey everyone, um, so today I'm going to be filming my um, current foundation routine and this is my first ever foundation routine and I am super excited. Um, so I am going to be doing a talk over. Um, I really haven't decided yet um, what I what I prefer to film, I guess. So it would be a lot of help if you guys would leave me a comment in the section below um, just telling me what you prefer. If you prefer talkovers or, um, or voiceovers is what I mean, um, or talk through or just music and text, um, you know, just let me know. Um, so I'm just going to have to experiment um, right now. So I currently have no makeup on and um, as you can see I have some redness and a little bit of acne um, through here. A lot of times like when I wear glasses, sorry I'm looking in the viewfinder, um, when I wear glasses I tend to get some little breakouts through here um, which is you know I guess just a given um, so I have one of those right now right here um, but yeah so just I get them along my jawline some and on my cheeks um, and I currently have one right here so we're just gonna have to cover all of that up um, but like I said I mean I'm very thankful to not have um, cystic acne and I never have really um, struggled with acne to the point of um, requiring medication or anything of that sort so um anyway I have a pretty dry skin. I tend to get oily on my forehead uh but my cheeks are super dry and flaky so I have to use um pretty I have to use a lot of moisturizer so my favorite moisturizer of all time is the St. Ives um timeless skin um moisturizer and I love this stuff it lasts forever do you see how big this is like this is huge and I'm so happy that my best friend recommended this but my best friend also she also recommended I try coconut oil as a moisturizer and I was like what the heck like really um why would I put oil on my face I mean I know that I have dry skin but you know who wants to have oily face so I have tried this the past day so I can't really tell you what I think um, a ton yet but yeah I mean so far so good it makes your skin feel so soft and she said that it has cleared her skin up uh, quite a bit so um, thankful that I don't have a whole lot to clear up but um, I do have some and uh, yeah so I believe that I have covered everything so um, let's get started so um, today I'm going to be using the Lancome Taunt Miracle foundation in the shade ivory 2 uh, and it's cool toned um, this is my absolute favorite foundation of all time currently um, I got it a couple months back and have been using it non-stop ever since so yeah I'm just dotting that all over my face and I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques uh, Beauty Blender dupe uh, sponge which I prefer over the Beauty Blender I do have both but I prefer to use this so I'm just going to be blending that out all over my face and um, yeah so I just sped up this clip because it took forever it takes me so long to blend my foundation so um, yeah so I'm just dotting that all over my face and I prefer to use the flat side of it just because I feel like it gives me a better finish as opposed to using the rounded other end of the sponge and uh, I just use it damp so I just run it under water and rinse it out and or wring it out and yeah so that is about it for my foundation and so I'm just gonna a few last minute touches um, I just really like to blend it out and make sure everything's smooth 
So next I'm going to be taking my uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and this is in the brightening shade and this is definitely something that I have only been using for the last couple of months. This is my first um, bottle of it or whatever you want to call it um, and I do like it. Sometimes I feel like it makes my under eyes um, kind of flaky and dry uh, but if I moisturize my under eyes enough then um, I really don't have too much of a problem with it. And I do like the way it looks. Um, but if I had to choose one, I would definitely choose the regular shade. Um, but I do like the brightening shade. So now I'm just going to take um, the same uh, sponge and blend that out with the flat side as well. Um, I pretty much only use the flat side. You could use the other end for under your eye, but I don't prefer to. So now I'm taking the other Instant Age Rewind and it is upside down. <laughs> Oops. Um, but yeah, so this is in the shade Fair or Claire, I don't know. Um, and so I'm just going to use this on any problem areas that I might have. So yeah, this uh, just, it's not a super full coverage concealer, but um, I do like it. And I went a while without it, so it's really nice to have it again. Um, it's just really easy, especially for traveling. Um, I've really been enjoying that again recently, but this is probably like my third or fourth bottle of it. So I do really love that concealer, especially for just easy, convenient issues. Um, you know, sometimes you just don't want to whip out the heavy duty concealer and that one's quick and simple. So I just blend that out with my sponge as well. Um, all right, and so now I'm taking my Pure Minerals um, bronzer and Mineral Glow, and this is not a matte bronzer. I do like matte bronzers, but in the springtime, I really love that dewy look, and so um, I really do love this uh, Mineral Glow, and so um, I just get a good bit on that. It's not extremely pigmented so I can you know blend it up, blend it in pretty well without it being too harsh. And I don't technically contour, I just you know put it in that area and bronze up my face. Um, I find that it's the perfect lightness for my skin tone. I'm very pale so um, I do enjoy this uh, bronzer a lot. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's really simple and I don't have to worry about going overboard with it too much and yeah, so I just kind of put that um, on the hollows of my cheeks and on my forehead. I got a little bit too much on my forehead this day, but whatever, it happens. <laughs> and then I just put some under my chin and my jawline. I'm not really precise with it, I just kind of do it. And then on my nose as well. Just kind of dust it all over. I really like the finish of this. I definitely prefer a dewy look. So now I'm taking my Benefit Rockateur blush. And this is my new baby. As you can tell, I've used quite a bit of it already. You can hardly see that it said rock. But yeah, this is just such a pretty pinky rose gold shade. And I just start on the upper part of my cheekbone and blend it into my... Um, the apples of my cheek so um, I'm not crazy about this or certain way I apply it or anything but um, yeah I just I love this blush I think it's really natural looking as natural as makeup can get <laughs> um, I just think that it really complements my skin tone and I believe that it's a pretty versatile blush I've talked to many other of my friends and they that use it and they're all different skin tones so Next, I'm going to be taking my Stila um, Kitten uh, Duo, and this is just like an all-over shimmer. You can use it on your eyes, your cheeks, um, to highlight anything, um, but today I'm going to be using it for um, highlighting my cheekbones, and I'm just going to be taking this old Mary Kay blush, or brush, and um, Tap it off, don't want too much, but I really do like the finish that this highlighter gives. And lately I've been liking powder highlighters. I don't know why, but um, I have a mix of both uh, cream and 
the cream and powder, but I've been preferring powder. So next I'm going to be using my Sonia Kashuk um, powder, and it's bare minimum, bare minimum pressed powder and translucent. And this is a recent um, purchase of mine. I found it on at Target on sale, and so, oh my gosh, yeah, so apparently I'm pale. Thought I looked really pale. I needed to say that. Um, but yeah, I use a translucent shade. Um, this was like $4 on sale at Target, so I purchased it like a month or so ago, and honestly, I don't love it, but I'm trying to use it because I don't have extremely oily skin, so um, I don't have to worry too much about a uh, shine, but it's not my favorite. I definitely wouldn't repurchase it again. It just doesn't keep me matte or in any way. And so now I'm going to be using my Fix Plus by MAC, and I don't use this every day, but um, when I remember, I like to use it. So I'm just going to spray about five sprays of that on, and I really love the way it smells. Anyway, um, so this is the final product. Here's a little look at what it looks like. Um, just my everyday foundation routine, and I really hope you guys enjoyed, and please subscribe, and I will see y'all very soon. Bye!